I have been thinking about Jesus a lot this year because this year I turned 43. I'm now 10 years older than Jesus was when he died. And I'm bound to ask myself, have I achieved as much in my life as Jesus did in his? Some might argue not. Uh, <laughs> admittedly, Jesus did some pretty impressive stuff. I'm not knocking him. Amazing things, not least of which he managed to get a prostitute to wash his feet with her hair for free. <laughs> and still managed to pass that off as a good and holy thing to do. I mean, that is impressive work from the boy Jesus. But I'll ask you this question, Leicester Square. Did Jesus ever score 702 points in a single game of Yahtzee on his iPhone? <laughs> I don't think so. There's nothing about it in the Bible, and I think there would be if he'd done that, and I have done that. Uh, I sense some disbelief. Well, here's the proof. Uh, I, uh, I don't know if you... Uh... <laughs> I don't know if you play Yahtzee, so you like you probably do. That is an incredibly high score for a single game of Yahtzee. You'll see, you'll see embarrassing, it's taken me over 3,000 games of Yahtzee to <laughs> achieve that landmark. I've got a very impressive win ratio of 53%, showing I'm ever so slightly better at playing Yahtzee than a phone. <laughs> but Jesus didn't do that, so I think that makes me better. And don't say that's not a fair contest, because there were no iPhones in Jesus' time, because he was the son of God wasn't he? He could have just magicked an iPhone up out of nowhere. He could have had an iPhone 4 if he'd wanted, or an iPhone 5, what, that you've probably got in the future. So yeah, it might be, it might even be an iPhone 6 now. I can't imagine they'll ever go further than that. Uh, he, could have had, he could have had an iPhone 4 with all the applications if he'd wanted. His birthday was Christmas, he'd have got double presents, it would have worked out. <laughs> The fact he never did that proves that I am best than Jesus. This hysteria was weird. Within two hours of Michael Jackson's death, people had started gathering in the street outside the hospital he died in, which seemed a little bit morbid to me. And Sky News, having nothing else to report on, were talking about this non-story. The reporter's looking down, going, die-hard fans are congregating outside the hospital. I thought, what are the die-hard fans doing this? 